Ugly RG3 defends Bronny James for dating a white girl. Listen, y'all. I tell you, black women, you're out here looking stupid as fuck. Stop giving birth to them. Didn't I tell you? You're only giving birth to them so the preferences can benefit. Your womb is being used as a womb to keep them alive. Y'all mewing. Y'all wombs are being used to mew to keep them in existence so the preferences can benefit. You have to be the one to bear all the pain of giving birth to their ugly asses. But... Guess who's going to benefit? The preferences. Guess who's going to get the money? The preferences. Guess who's going to be living in these beautiful neighborhoods while you're still living in poverty, raising these ugly-ass kids? You. So please, make the right decisions. Make good decisions and stop giving birth to them. S-Y-W. Save your womb. RG3 is ugly, and he uses white women to try to make black women feel insecure. Because, number one, I don't really think... You know, a lot of black women really wanted RG3 anyway before he was rich. But, okay, whatever. The white bitches ain't want them either, but they benefit. When black men are in these unions, they defend each other in these unions. But yet, when black women are interracially dating, they put each other down. And I don't really understand that. Y'all mammies better fucking stop it because y'all looking stupid. You're not benefiting from defending these nakers. Sad part about it is that black women want these black families, but black men is not pushing for black families. Black men defend other black men that's with white women or non-black women and like i said you're giving birth to them for the preferences to benefit bitch you're getting absolutely nothing out of mewling and out of worshiping them meanwhile you're gonna go through all that hard labor and pain and guess what the preferences is gonna take all that money all them resources and laugh at you black bitches straight to the bank Yes, of course they're going to get cheated on. Yes, of course they're going to still get the same black man, but they're going to benefit still. But when you get cheated on, you're not going to get nothing out of it but the projects and $30 a month for child support. Yeah, your wounds is being used. Stop it, y'all. Your wounds is being used for cheap to benefit the preferences. All you're doing is giving birth to them for the preferences to benefit. You're not benefiting from this, black woman. Look, black woman. You need to reprogram your mind that every black man wants or have a preference. So that way when you see them with them, you don't get triggered. Because these men is flaunting them because they know that you're going to get triggered. Because they know you want black family, stupid. Here's my prediction. That soon or later, black women is not going to get triggered over this anymore because we see this as a common thing. We should be used to this by now, but soon black women is not going to care anymore. And then what? What do they have? I'm going to make a prediction that sooner or later, black women is not going to be triggered over this. Because channels like this, Divest and Zila, Cynthia G, we're going to stay in your ass. We're going to keep our foot in your asses. And sooner or later, they're going to, you know, realize that, you know, black men is never going to love them. And soon, they're not going to get triggered when they see posts like this. And soon, the preferences and these men is not going to be happy that black women ain't triggered over this because now they don't have nothing they're not going to have anybody because like i said these preferences is only as good as the pedestal that they get put on and once one black woman don't really give a fuck and stop being triggered over this and, and see this as the normal look they're not going to have anything they're going to be like wow they know you triggered. They know you want a Wakanda. They know you want black kids so motherfucking bad in the black family. And they're doing this to trigger you. And listen, y'all, RG3 ugly ass had no business even being this arrogant. Let them defend each other. Let them. But remember, when these niggas face discrimination by the dis dominant society, I don't want to hear none of y'all bitches talking about black power this, black power that, and let's march for them, let's defend them, because the white man is doing this, the white man doing that. Bitch, y'all need to listen. Huh, y'all better stop it.